Hi, this is Ushio, and this is Eagle Flight. This is a VR game, and we are going to be flying. It looks like we're currently looking from the perspective of a bird, because I can see a beak where my nose should be, and I, there's like a brow. And looking around, it's pretty cool as far as I'm aware. This game is kind of set in Paris. So, okay, press any button to take flight. Three, two, one, go. We are gonna fly. I think. Oh shit, what are we doing? Ah, oh, fuck. Okay, we're flying. What are we doing? I think this is a game you don't need a controller. You just do it with your head and face. Okay, so. You, wow, you just kind of steer with your face. So, where are we going? Yeah, so that's Notre Dame. And I can see Eiffel Tower in the background. I'm not sure what else we're going to see. Okay, we're the aiming for Notre Dame. Over the beautiful city of Paris. Humans have long left this iconic city behind, and the wilderness has reclaimed the streets. It's kind of guiding me Deer around. Deer and wolves have made their homes here, sharing this urban jungle with exotic animals escaped from the zoo. Predators search for their next meal. Scavengers feast on the remains of a kill while other threats lurk in the shadows. Your journey is only just beginning, but soon you will take your place in this world. Okay, so seriously, what am I to do? What am I doing? So I'm kind of guiding it around a little bit. Eagles turn by tilting. Oh, I see. Oh, I see. Not looking kind of strafes you, but yeah, you actually have to tilt your head. Keep tilting. Oh my god, you just made a U-turn. Yes, I did. Okay, so you really have to like bank your head and give yourself a little bit of neck strain. Alright, remember to tilt your head to turn efficiently. I will do. Okay, so where am I to go? It looks very much like it's some kind of post-apocalyptic Paris because... Okay, use L2 and R2 to adjust your flying speed. Okay, let's go Go faster. Oh, speeding. Speed up. Top speed. Okay. And then, what, L2 to slow down? Is that what we're going to do? I guess not. There we go. Let's slow down. It's going to take me a while to get used to tilting my head as opposed to turning my head. Slowing down helps precise turns. Okay. So... What are we doing? Just go wherever we want. Is this what we're doing? Okay, so that looks like the tutorial section is done. Got a trophy. Feels good. Okay. Fly like an eagle. You've earned a trophy. I did notice. This is your nest. Fly through the icon to return to the lobby. Is, is that what we want to do? Okay, fly through that. And then we can rest. Let's do it. Okay. So let's, let's speed up. Let's do this top speed flying eagle action. This is so weird. This is so weird. Okay. So we're going to zoom on up. And we're going to land ourselves. we got to fly through this, yeah? Got it. That's cool. We don't have to worry about how to land ourselves. It does it automatically. We are perched. We feel pretty good about ourselves. Got a couple of crows aren't they it's weird the crows at home where i live they're completely black whereas the crows when i visited other countries they are gray and black kind of like that some big old eggs so what are we doing got notre dame louvre basidia pantheon eiffel tower story mode or free flight online match and to fly okay story mode bird life hungry Instinct impels you to move toward heat and light. Oh, oh shit. Someone is waiting for you in the outside world. Is this mum and dad? Hello. Your mother and father. And someone else. It's like a 360 video. <laughs> it's not real time, it is rendered. Oh, that's their sibling. How you doing? This Yo. Is your Okay, we have a family. We've got mum, dad, 
and a sibling of some description. That's that's really cool, actually. But let's get to flying. Oh shit! What is the plan? have taught your parents everything there is to know about the city. Okay, I'm gonna follow these guys. Can I catch up? Catch up. Each district is full of life. It's kind of yeah. This voiceover is just giving me a, a general introduction to what is going on. It's kind of cool. There isn't really a motion sickness issue. It's, it's completely fine to be honest. And when you turn your head, it kind of shades around your view, so you're not affected too much. All right, so just working our way over these rooftops. Should we try and catch up? We're just following. We're not really being given anything to do. Okay, so we live in Notre Dame, and we made it home. Was that our first mission complete? It was just a tour of Paris. Okay, and we made it to chapter one. So we are taking flight. We are not sat on anything, we are floating. Let's do it. Paris has kept its magnificence under the reign of the animals. It's kind of weird that Nature there's like a, can be both beautiful and a narration. It's not it's but not a documentary. You really don't have to do it. Your wings are growing stronger and you are slowly learning all that's needed. I wish I could land somewhere because you're in constant you. motion. I'd just like to perch and decide what I want to do. But no constant motion. Where am I going? What what's the plan? Uh I don't know what I'm doing. I'm flying higher. And that was it. No explanation. Just zoom out so what what are we trying to do the light beam indicates the next story challenge light beam comes from quite high up okay there are a couple of giraffes just chilling out down there they're doing okay so i'm not actually moving so i actually get to look around normally just for a second but okay next story challenge let's have a look we are flying yeah, so we're going to bust on through this and we're going to take on mission one. Finally, we made it. Got it. Other animals have chosen this district as their home. Meet the elephants. Let's Fly through the center of the rings for a speed bonus. Okay. Oh, hi hello. Hi, elephants. Um, I guess we'll fly. So it's a bit of a... Bit of a tour. It's a little bit Superman 64, but it's fine. Aim for the center of the rings for a speed boost. Boom, that's it. We're going through. We're doing okay. Just gently working our way through. But yeah, this is fun. Just fairly safe VR navigation. Oh, oh. Let's slow down, slow down. Hey, elephants, how's it going? Don't hit me. Flamingos? Well, where am I going? This way. Oh, fuck. Slow. Okay, into the wind tunnel. Ah, shit. We're in the sewers. And... Which way? Up? Fuck. <laughs> go, 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 go. Up, up. Higher, higher. I like it. Okay, down here. And then left. Through this arch. Ah, excuse me, elephants. Very good. Whoa, whoa. There we go. Dropping on down. But I don't know what happened to Paris for it to end up in this state. Okay, excuse me. Excuse me. Okay, up here. Sharp turn. Bam. Got it. And again. Just working our way through. But this is quite fun. It's very... If you're starting out with VR, this is quite a, a straightforward one to go with. Not really complicated controls or anything like that. Some games I've played. The controls, like... Skyrim, for example, they're quite fiddly. So not only are you looking around, you're also moving backwards and forwards. Whereas this one does it automatically for you. And the turning is is weird. The, you have to fight, you have to do multiple things at once. Whereas this is pretty straightforward. Here we go. Back to Notre Dame. Ooh. There we go. Here we go. It's kind of like a roller coaster simulator, but you're controlling the route that you're going. Okay, up here. Nice. Is that the end? Let's rush on through. Got it. That was fun. That was fun. Oh, 
three stars. Good job. Let's continue. So that is mission two. I think we should probably take a look. Okay, let's do this. Rush on through. So, I'm not sure how accurate it is, but the impression I'm getting, it's a fairly decent representation of what Paris is like. I've only been a couple of times like and it's not creature. been you for several years. Home. Okay, collect Which feathers. Feather? Okay, we'll do this. But I know that Notre Dame is kind of on an island in the middle of the Seine. Okay, we got to get 15 feathers. Okay, so here's one. Let's grab this. Got it. So, where to? Okay, I can see one in the distance. That's fine. And I know, yes, Sacrica is on top of the hill. So I know that much as well. But I can't remember a lot of the names. There is... A ferris wheel in the background. There's one in the park, isn't there? It's sort of, if you walk far enough, it's between the Louvre and the, the Arc de Triomphe, isn't it? I think. I'm probably wrong. Someone's going to correct me if I'm wrong. But we're doing okay. We're coming up to five. There we go. Uh, so where to now? Okay, I can see something. I don't know if they're exactly 15, but if there's like surplus... We can just pick the ones that we can see. But this is pretty chill, actually. This is fine. But there's... It seems to be loads of feathers all over the place. So that's seven. Here we go. Grab it. And I'm sure I saw someone. There we go. This is pretty straightforward. I don't think the game's going to be too challenging or, you know risk taking or action it's just kind of going through the hoops there is our next feather zoom on in on that shit and then bank yeah all right four more to go i haven't hit anything yet that was okay that was okay shall we go low shall we explore a bit okay is that one i think we're coming up to it we're gonna sneak through there we go. Oh, it's a little bit tight. We're fine. We're fine. We can work it. It's good. Giraffe, though. Shall we hit the giraffe? Yo, how's it going? Boosh! Oh, shit! <laughs> you crashed. It sort of was on purpose, yeah. <laughs> we just took out that elephant. Oh, we lost all of our feathers. Alright, top speed. Let's work this out. One here. Here we go. We need 15. Oh, there's one over there. Let's take an alternate route. Skimming through here. We're going at top speed now. I don't think it matters. There doesn't seem to be a timer. But, you know. Might as well go fast if we can. Here's the next one. Yes, yeah, so I'm holding R2 the whole time. This is our maximum speed. No, no chill. Absolute try hard. So we need 11 more. But I'm going to line them up nice. Let's get a couple more in. Okay, that's number five. Six. Here it comes. Seven. Okay, I can see one in the distance. We'll aim for that. But we have learned that crashing is a thing, and it means an instant fail. So I'd, I'd rather learn it, you know, that way, than in the middle of a difficult thing. Oh, shit. So I know not to take that kind of risk because it will instant kill you. I missed that. Turn around. Turn around. I got a little bit distracted because I did see the Louvre. Yeah. I did say, didn't I? There's the Louvre. It's the world famous art gallery, home of the Mona Lisa. I have been. And Mona Lisa's fairly small painting. And the entire thing was completely, completely round. With lots and lots of people. I don't know. It's, it's interesting. If you're going to want to see it, you kind of have to go anyway. So it's, it's kind of cool. But personally, I'd recommend maybe like the Musée d'Orsay, which specialises in uh, Impressionism. Which is it's quite nice, that stuff. Where are we going? So yeah, just a little bit of a, a mini tour guide. <laughs> just put my tour guide hat on. Oh, there's a feather. That's it. Four more to go. This should be fine. What is that, a zebra? No, it's a statue. My mistake. That is, yeah, a statue. 
So I don't remember Paris hugely well. I think I went maybe, hmm, seven or eight years ago. But yeah, we went to the Eiffel Tower. It's, we took the stairs <laughs> and it was a heat wave. Probably not a smart move. But I guess if I play more of this game, I guess we'll get to talk a little bit more about Paris. I'm sure a few of you have been to Paris as well. You could probably tell me your experiences too. All right, here we go. Got it. Two more feathers to go. Should we go low? It's risky. But if we go low, maybe we'll bump into something. No. Two more feathers. Anyone? This way? No. I'm sure. There's one. There's one. Here we go. Oh, it's a bit tight. Got it. One more to go. One more. And there it is. And dodge. Perfect. And that is our five feathers collected. Three stars. Feels good. These are the easy missions still. So we're not really testing any kind of boundaries right now. But this is fun. I do quite enjoy this. This is a show signing off. And hopefully I'll see you next time.